Okay, so let me ask a question to everybody on here. Um, when it comes to like family and money, is there anybody on the call today that has ever like loaned their family members money? And how does that work? Because sometimes when your family, you know, falls on hard times, it becomes your hard time. So let's talk about family relationships when it comes to money. And should we loan money? Should we not? Anybody want to speak on this? <laughs> I have a hard and fast rule on that um, because I've had many relationships ruined from borrowing money. Um, I just have a I have a, a give part of my budget that is a certain set amount every month. And if you ask me for some money and it falls within that give, you can have it. No expectations of paying it back. That's it. But if it falls outside of that and I don't have it, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to let you borrow it because I don't want to have that static in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my brothers owe me $600 for like six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm over that. I'm definitely over that. Yeah. If, I, I feel like you, whoever's lending money, you got to give it to them or it, the borrow and the family and all that. Um, you know, and I do, I do think that's a whole nother sub subject because of the whole survivor's guilt thing. When you become successful, and no one else in your family is successful, and they need something, and you always feel like you got to be the one to foot the bill. And sometimes you got to remember to put your mask on first. Um, we're talking about financial fitness, and that needs to carry you. We don't, or we don't think about the fact that when we're 60, 70, and 80, 90 years old, Lord willing, that we're going to need to be able to live. And you're not going to be able to work at the same capacity after 70 years old, potentially. So, you know, we got to think about those things when we're thinking about giving away money and borrowing and, you know, lending, lending, becoming a private lending institution within our families. Yeah. So I think there is the, you know, if, if someone, it always depends who, who asks. I like Nassima's hard and fast rule. That's good. It's a, it's a, a lot of times it depends on who asks. We all know there's that one person in the family that always needs some. Like, go somewhere. <laughs> go do something with yourself. Go get a job. You know, there's always that person. But then there's also the person who's really trying and that you really want to help. But I think that, you know, I come from a culture which is really, really interesting. So you all know that my mother is Samoan. She's from Hawaii. And Samoan culture you know, as much as I love my people, the culture of the hierarchy, I guess, just ain't for me. And I, I caught a lot of, you know, backlash from my mom's side of the family as I got older and I started to have opinions on things, as I started to um, really push back against what their norm was because they have one of those cultures that when you grow up, you know, you're taken care of as a kid, but then you spend your whole entire ch childhood serving your elders and your mm. parents. And then mm. you get old enough to go out and earn money. And what do you do? You bring that money back to the house. Getting pushed out of the nest doesn't exist very much in that culture. And so I have actively had to practice, you know, dealing with the shame and the guilt of, telling my family no and the judgment that comes from them because mm. they don't understand, you know, wh what I understand. And, you know, my dad is on the other side of, of uh, you know, he's on the other shoulder pushing me, you know, my, my entire life as a kid, go do your own thing, go be your yeah. own person, do what you want to do. And so very opposing um, viewpoints. But, but as I get older, I, what's really interesting is going through that trend, through that, phase and that judgment, especially being like a, a, a young adult when I was in my early 20s, really being, y'all know I'm rebellious as hell. I don't do well with authority. I don't like <laughs> being told what to do. It's just ain't my thing. So I already, you know, dealt with that a lot. But here I am in my 30s and they're like, well, dang, she has something to figure out because guess what? We're all still in the same exact place we've been mm. in this entire time. So so have you noticed that your family has, has adjusted what their, I guess, what they would normally do culturally when it comes to money or are they still on that even though they see that you've experienced a level of success doing the I opposite yeah i don't know that they have um been able to 
change their own ways and habits so as much, but I see that they look at me differently now. Like my my little cousins, they're like, "Oh, you're rich," and I'm like, "To hell, I am." You know, not even close. But like, you, you know, it's so. I think that they are a lot more respectful of my perspectives, my advice. And it's kind of one of those things, if I say something, it's law. Like, they listen now. So, I mean, you know, that's my experience with that. That's not, that's not a bad place to be now. <laughs> not, not, not now. Jade, what do you think about family, giving money to family? Um, I don't do it. I, I mean, I'm kind of feel the same way as Nasima. <laughs> my whole thing is if I give it to you because I've been in the same situation where it's so interesting, the borrower never gets upset. And when you when you get to the point where because it's life is principle to me, like I'm big on re like respect, you know what I mean? Like I respect everybody that I'm around because I want it in return. So if I were to, quote unquote, loan you money, even if you can't pay me at the deadline and you don't come to me and have enough respect for me to just communicate, hey, I know I owe you money tomorrow, but, you know, things are still a little bit short. So I'm going to need three or four more days. If you don't have enough respect to communicate that to me and now I have to follow it with you and I'm running you down and asking you for money, like, wh hey, where's the money that you were supposed to pay me today? Now I'm the one with the issue. And what's interesting, now you have an issue back with me because I asked for with my your stuff funky like, money For your funky right. money back. Right. Yeah, you want your funky money oh. back. And the then money don't, is funky right now. Okay. Hold up, and then don't let me know that you owe me money. And see, here's another thing. Now we become stalkers in a sense. Now I'm on your social media page and I'm like, new shoes? What you mean new shoe or right, vacation? Right, plane right, ride? Right, service right. at the club. Oh, you went out to eat? <laughs> <laughs> you went out to eat, <laughs> You got McDonald's yeah, money? Right. 